The next block is J11, and this is an applique block as well. So I have a solid square for the back, and then all these other pieces get applique on. So as indicated here, this is an EPP modified block, and this the, the center has been um, redone so that it's got four different pieces so you don't have to overlay these two applique parts. And on my pieces over here, I have my my eight applique pieces and my main square for ba for um, appliquing them on. And I'm going to gathering stitch my little footballs here, which are bigger than my other ones. And then these two sides I'm going to glue base to give myself an, a, self a nice, flat, sharp edge so that I can connect these right. And these two sides, because they're curved, I'm going to uh, gathering stitch those sides as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is baste my main square and mark my areas so that I can place these onto here. So I've got my straight edges basted down with my glue and so now I'm going to come in and do these edges with my basting, my gathering stitch method and I'm going to attach them here. I made a darker line on this square because they're all going to be covered up so I'm not going to worry about erasing it. So that way I can see what I'm doing. So I will do this and put these on one at a time, making sure that these all line up right here in the middle. So now I have one of my quarters of the center basted. I'm going to line this up, and this point needs to go right on this intersection. So I need to be directly over it and place that in right, directly in the center and then make sure I find the actual point and line this up with this line. Because you want to make sure that this is exact so then you can get the other ones in the right position at the 90, you know, at the 90 degree angles here. So I'm going to staple this down, base the next one, and work that way according to placement. All right, so now I've got three of my four center pieces stapled in place for my applique. And the idea is to get this in the middle and get these to match up. This, at this point, is more critical than the edge. And you can see here that I have, it's not lined up exactly right. And that's because this bit is actually sticking out a little bit. When I basted it, it wasn't all the way in. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix this during the applique process and make this line up. So then it will it will kind of do that kind of thing. But this corner is all squishy because I just didn't pull it tight enough when I basted this section. So I'm gonna baste, I still have to baste this last piece. I'm gonna baste this and stick it in here. And then I will be able to baste these. All right, so now I've got all of my applique pieces attached and in place for applique, but I discovered a problem with this whole situation. I can't get into there easily without bending my background and all that stuff. So I've decided to actually undo what I just did. I'm going to take the staples out, and then I'm going to put this piece together with the stitching, and then I'm going to attach it to this part. So I've taken off all four pieces out of the center that I just painstakingly put on, and I have taken them and I've attached these two right here. And so I'm going to do the same thing with these two, and then I'll sew them together. All right, so now I've got all four of these pieces sewn together. And it will be a lot easier to applique this down than to applique all the little bits. However, I will say I really like making mistakes because that way I learn and figure out how to do things the right way eventually. So I'm going to place this, I'm going to place all the points on the pencil lines and then staple them down. I'm still going to staple it in four different places, 
so that it holds it as, as in position as best as possible. And then I'm going to finally baste these guys. So now I've appliqued my middle bits on, and it's time to attach the little, the not so little footballs. And I have a couple of them basted with the gathering stitch method, and I'm gonna I'm gonna place them on these lines. So I'm gonna place one end at the point, and the other end at the corner of the block. I'm gonna make them touch here or close to it and then line it up with this edge to see where they land and then I'll staple it down. So now I've got my four footballs in each corner lined up on their lines and I'm going to applique them down. So I have appliqued my little footballs down on the edge, taken my staples out and taken my basting out. So now I have a completed J11 block.